Hello and welcome to Ray Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Now I got some news for you and our first topic of the video, Sophie Daba, Dam's husband, Max Lichaba. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it does seem that Sophie Daba has reverted back to her maiden surname. So one would assume that it is clear as day that actress Sophie Daba has split with her husband, Max Lechaba. Now, it was reported that the lockdown actress and radio presenter has resorted to going back to using Undaba as her surname. Now, if you do go through her social media page, as you see over here, she has indeed changed her surname to Undaba. And while we're actually on the page, you will see that there is absolutely zero pictures of Max. Now, according to the rumors, the speculations, the allegedly, the split started when Sophie Ndaba apparently caught Max Lichaba, her husband, cheating on her. Now, the two have been married for about three years, but when Sophie confronted Max's alleged side chick, she revealed that he said that they are getting a divorce. So, according to that, it seems like she found out about the divorce from the side chick. Ouch. Nonetheless, the report goes on to say that Max initially denied knowing the woman, but apparently Sophie's instincts did not allow her to take his word for it. She also allegedly threw him out of their rental home and she moved back to her estate in Johannesburg. Now, a source who came through for some snitching duty revealed the following on their particular article. She said she discovered that he was cheating on her with that woman and when she confronted him, he denied knowing this woman, but she felt that the man was making a fool of her. Now, according to what Sunday World is saying, it seems like the couple actually split last year in March, a month after renewing their vows. Now, apparently when the couple was contacted by the publication, they both denied the rumor saying I don't know what you are talking about that is what Sophie Ndaba had to say and Max said there is no such thing now last week Sophie announced that she's got a radio gig with Radio Bob SA and she goes on air from 12 to 3 p.m. Now in the poster that she shared, Sophie highlighted that she would like to be addressed as Sophie Ndaba. This indicates that Sophie has dropped her marital surname. Now one thing to note is that her handle on Twitter is still Sophie underscore Lichaba but I'd imagine that is on the to-do list for things to change. Personally, I'm not a big fan of things ending. I hate this thing of it will end in tears. Why can't it just, you know, end up the way it started with laughter, joy, love, all of that caressing each other. But talking about the beginning, Sunday World actually revealed how the couple met. When she, Sophie Ndaba, arrived there at the Lichaba family business, she met Max and it was love. At first sight, Max phoned her after a few days and expressed his undying love for her, but she told him that she was seeing somebody else. He told her he too was involved but was unhappy in his relationship and would end it to be with her. Yeah, looking back at how it started and how it's reportedly ending, it is sad indeed. Now, for those that are cheating on me, yes, I'm talking to you. Please do me a huge favor right now. If you do enjoy my content here on the channel, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Like I said, stop cheating on me and give me those likes and subscribes. Our next topic, Tembisa confirms pregnancy. It would seem that on social media, fans of the actual Actress Tembisa Lia Mangumalo and her husband are expecting a bundle of joy. Now this comes after the actress shared a picture of herself showing a visible baby bump. Now she captioned this picture, don't ask the question, the answer is yes with some emojis there, heart emoji, some laughing emoji. Now the confirmation might not be a confirmation fundy one. But nonetheless, the comment section of that particular post is filled with congratulation messages. Now, at this point, it is all speculation as her statement is, well, basically unclear. Now, I will say this. About five days ago, she actually posted a couple of pictures of herself with friends on a holiday in the Western Cape. And as you can see from the pictures there's no baby bump and if we go back to some of the reports around december of 2020 she did confirm that she had given birth she posted something in december of 2020 which has since been deleted but it read as follows a few months postpartum trying to get back into the rhythm of working out regularly face still has scarring from acne and the worst reaction to bad makeup 38 and living so going back to the images that she has shared on her social media from Amazing Voices Africa, these could have been filmed around the time when she was still pregnant, do keep that in mind, and perhaps she's just posting them now. But as of right now, those that are fans of the Queen know that she is currently featuring there as the temporary replacement for Zandile Msutwana after she reportedly suffered an injury on set. 
Mzansi Magic issued a statement around the time that read as follows, We do not doubt that with Tembisa's immense talent and skills, along with the support and guidance she has received from Sutwana, the character of Wuyiswa Make will continue to steal the hearts of viewers. We are very excited from Tota Ngumalo and thankful to her for taking this gigantic challenge with so much grace. We wish Msutwana a speedy recovery and look forward to her return soonest. So if Tembisa is actually indeed pregnant, I suppose soonest better come real soon. Our next topic, Zandile Msutwana to return to the Queen. So following off from the previous topic, fans of the Queen should be excited to know that actress Zandile will be returning to the Telenova to do what she does best. Now Zandile had taken some time off the Telenova following a serious injury. She took to Instagram to express gratitude for all the messages of support that she had been receiving and informed her fans that she is now healed and strong. She posted the following on social media, Thank you doesn't even begin to express my appreciation for you all. I appreciate every call, text, DM, mention, prayer, love and well wishes. I am excited that today I am leaving my house completely healed and strong, going back to what I love. This is to show my gratitude. So yes, according to that statement, she is now ready to leave the house. She is healed and strong and going back to what she loves. And if the rumors and speculations that Tembisa is indeed pregnant are true, I suppose Zandide has impeccable timing. Our next topic, Casper Nyoves claims that radio does not play his music. So rapper Casper Nyoves has taken to social media to thank the few radio stations that play his music, insinuating that he has never had any of his top hits on radio charts because radios usually snub his songs. Now the rapper's latest Ama Piano track is definitely doing some damage on the dance floor. Now do keep in mind that Casper Nyoves made his name as a hip-hop artist primarily, however the rapper has expanded his brand and he definitely does not shy away from exploring other music genres. A Twitter user took to Casper Nyoves' timeline to express his concerns over how, in his opinion, that Casper Nyoves' songs never make it to the top 5 of most radio stations' music charts. A user on social media wrote the following, I'm just a bit concerned. Cas, how come Sia Tandana is the biggest song in the land but it's not number 1 in all the radio stations in SA? You will find unpopular songs in a radio's top 5 WTF. Ganti, how do these radio stations operate? What is the criteria for topping a radio? chart. Now Casper Nyoves replied to that user and wrote, never had a number one song on radio in my career with so many big songs including Sia Tandana, not once. Shout out to the radio stations that are giving the song the airplay it deserves. I am loved and supported by the people though. They keep me going so that's what we celebrate. Personally, I will say this, I don't really follow radio charts, but uh, Casper Nyoves saying that not one of his songs has ever been number one on radio. I mean, when you think back at Casper's like hits, like Doc Shebeleza, Kusheshe, Baby Girl, not, not even one of them made number one. But yeah, it does seem that I was not the only person who felt like this as Twitter users filled up Casper Nyoves' comment section expressing their disbelief at his statement, but... It does seem that fans have also validated his statement saying that, yeah, it, it, it is true. But of course, they love Mufasa nonetheless. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Casper Nyoves' latest single, Sia Tandana. From what I've seen on social media, majority of people are loving the song. I've seen a couple of people saying that, you know what, they were unimpressed by the song and felt that Casper Nyoves actually ruined the song. But nonetheless, do sound off in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.